Do you know how the world, like the media and the, you know, our culture, uh, tends to all the time advertise luxury and ease as if you're going to graduate, as if you're going to reach some level and then you're going to have this luxurious life, an easy life. I find that not to be true. In fact, uh, that's, they're advertising that to a certain group of people. And that group of people is not us. That group of people is amateurish. They think, amateurs always think they're going to arrive somewhere. Like they're going to arrive and everyone's going to know them and their life is going to be set from that day on. That is a myth. There is no graduation. There is no arrival. One of my favorite creos that the Navy SEALs use is this. There are two kinds of pain in this world. There's two kinds of pain in the world. The pain of discipline and the pain of regret. You can only avoid one. Choose, O oh warrior. The decision is always yours. There's two kinds of pain in the world. The pain of discipline and the pain of regret. You can only avoid one. Choose, O oh warrior. The decision is always yours. So people ask me all the time, Bo, how do you stay focused on your plan, on your dream, on being the best for these long extended periods of time, whether it's five years or 10 years or eight years or 14 years or 20? How do you stay focused on that? And I say, I'm not focused on it all of the time. I fall off just like you are. I'm off track sometimes, but I'll, what always writes me is this decision. The decision is always yours. The decision to be great, to be the best, is always mine. That's up to me. So I can choose discipline. So what does discipline look like? You can choose the pain of discipline. So let's choose that for a moment. Okay, so my, the things I choose to be disciplined at are my marriage. Very disciplined in there. Lifer, right? Where I choose to be very disciplined is in my fatherhood, my parenting. I have three little ones and I'm very disciplined with them. I don't wander. I don't wonder if I'm a good father or not. I'm constantly in there working the best I, I, I can. I stay very disciplined in my work. So if I have a writing schedule, I have a writing schedule. I keep the schedule. I'm very, I treat that very uh, uh, sacredly. Uh, my warm-up, getting ready to be great. Most people want to be the best. They want to be great. They're just not prepared to be great because they've done no warm-up to get themselves ready. So I do a sacred six warm-up where I'm getting my body ready and willing to express itself. So my body's constantly ready to express itself. See what I mean? Most people just won't do that. Now, a lot of people say this to me too. They go, now Bo, um, Maybe I should just follow my passion. And I think that's a trap. And I think that's a myth. Because then your whole life you're going, what's my passion? Am I passionate about this? Or am I passionate about that? Quit. I don't follow my passion. That's a myth. I don't follow my passion. My passion follows me. I stay disciplined. And the discipline reveals what you're passionate about. Discipline equals passion. I can choose, just like you, just like the Creo says, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Which do you choose? So I put myself at the end of my life, or when I get in bed at night, I put myself in that position. And do I want to have regrets at that moment? When I'm going to bed at night, I don't want any regrets. When I die, when I'm on my deathbed, I don't want any regrets. I want to go, you know what, I gave it everything I got. Your arrival is a myth. You're not arriving anyway, anywhere. That luxury and ease and uh, what, what our world promises you and what they advertise that you're going to reach one day if you buy this or do that, that's a myth. That's not going to happen. Your arrival is today. You're already here. You're already the best. You just have to keep opting for discipline or you can opt for regret. That's up to you. But you're going to have to write that ship day in, day out, 
hour by hour, minute by minute, second by second. I always have the choice. Discipline, regret. Discipline, regret. I choose discipline almost every time. And then my passion arrives. And then I'm not that amateurish audience anymore that all these promises are coming to. Like, hey, once you make this much money, your life's going to look like this. It doesn't look any different. I've been rich. I've been poor. It's the same, right? I mean, rich is more fun because you get access to things. But there's no arrival. All there is is being the best. All there is is discipline to your dream. Discipline to your nature. And your nature is the best.